I'm Terry McCarthy. I'm at the Cool Tool Studio today, and I will be showing you how to make textured metal earrings and solder your earring post on the back. Today we're going to be soldering an earring post to, a, to an earring. It's also a technique that you can use if you are soldering a post to the back of a piece of metal to then be riveted um, later in your design. So we're going to need flux on the end of our post that we're soldering on, and we're also going to need a little flux on the back of the earring where the post is going to go. I like to use a crosslock tweezer because it will hang on to my post. It also adds um, a little protection to the very tiny tip of this wire. It acts as a heat sink. So we're going to set this down in place. The crosslock tweezer is suspended across the solder block and it's and it's it's laying on the edge of the soldering pan so that it keeps it stable. I'm going to pick up a small pallion of solder. This is a small join, so you don't need a lot of solder. And I'm going to place it on the back side of this post. It has to be touching both the post and the back plate. So I'm going to start my torch. Have a solder pick in your hand so that you can move things if the um, solder jumps out of place or if your metal shifts. And I'm first going to go in and, and just pre-dry um, my flux. There's a lot of moisture in there. And what happens when the moisture evaporates, you can see the solder jumping around and it's the steam coming out of that flux that's causing that to happen. So you can watch your flux and it's a good, it's a good heat indicator. So when it gets to a crusty white, you know that your moisture has evaporated out of your flux and it's now safe to go in and concentrate your heat to flow your solder. So I can see that my solder chip slid away, boiled away with the flux, and I'm going to move it back so that it's touching both my post and my, and my earring back and continue to heat. And I'm heating on the opposite side of the post because when that solder flows, it's going to flow to the heat. So if I'm heating the larger piece of metal, the solder first will change shape, ball, and then it flows, and you're done. At this point, you can pick up your piece and you can quench it in your water, and then from there, it will go into the pickle pot and get cleaned up. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, Follow us on Twitter and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.